How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be explaining what you should be doing in MLB The Show 23 right now. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And if we take a look at this updated schedule here, it is a little bit important. We uh, recognize that next Friday, about a week from now, we are about to get another roster update, a moonshot event, some Tops Now players, and Double XP Weekend. Double XP Weekend is the most important thing on the updated schedule because the developers released this uh, Kaiju Takeover Part 2 yesterday. And the first part lasted for about a week. I'm going to make a prediction that Kaiju Part 2 is also going to follow that same uh, week-long trend. And right now, you should be buying the 97 overall cards featured in the Kaiju Takeover packs. Uh, we do not have Twitch Drop packs, so these cards are not guaranteed in the Twitch Drop streams or whatever uh, is going on in those special packs. The supply on these cards is obviously really high though because they are right around the quick sell value. I'm buying these cards for maybe 50 stubs more than 10,000 which is the quick sell value and that's why I would be buying these cards or at least as many as I can. Obviously I started with about uh, uh, 250,000 stubs and I'm trying to buy about 5 of each of these for about 10,000 each. That should uh, allow me to double up my stub count. I would expect these cards to maybe get up to about 20,000. But remember at the beginning of the video, I said that double XP is the most important thing on the updated schedule. The reason why I say that is because I took a screenshot of the XP loop a few days ago and the Kaiju Takeover packs were not in the XP loop, obviously, because uh, the Kaiju Takeover Part 1 was already over. Now, Part 2 was just released yesterday. Now, the Kaiju Takeover packs, or at least the five pack bundles, are not only in the path, but also in the XP loop beyond the path. So that is also going to affect the price if these packs are to stay in the loop during double XP. This screenshot that you're looking at right now is from a few days ago. We can obviously see the standard five pack bundle in the XP loop. Then as of yesterday, the Kaiju Takeover packs are back in the path and in the XP loop. You can see them right here, I'll zoom in. But I wanted to show you this because this makes a difference on how long those Kaiju Takeover cards, or at least the 97 overall players, will stay around the quick sell value. Once they are taken out and you're no longer able to get them, kind of like we saw with this 97 overall Jorge Polanco, this card is the best 97 overall featured in any of the Kaiju Takeover packs. And that's why he doubled up in price from about 20000 to above 40000 so this is a good opportunity to make a profit. I think Luis Rangifo or uh, Rangifo could also go up because he's a switch hitter as well, but he doesn't have the same contact attributes. He's not the same type of player. You also might uh, try to get, you know, maybe a few of each just in case one of them goes up more than the other. I don't really know which one is the most valuable. That's why I decided to buy a couple of or at least five of each. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video. I'm College Lefty, and that's what you should be doing in MLB The Show 23 right now in order to make a profit with your stub count. Until next time, peace out.